Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to be talking about how I take class notes. So the school that I attend is online through YouTube. And when the video is live, it shows at the bottom how many minutes it's streaming for. So if it started 10 minutes ago, it'll say streaming for 10 minutes and whatever the case may be, right? So basically, I use that to pay attention to the time, right? And if I'm a lined up time, like if I'm not behind time, I'll see the minutes and then I'll listen to whatever message and I, if I feel inclined to write this down or make a certain point about it, then um, I'll look at the minute it happened and then I'll write it down. And so I'll basically like, it's all over the place, but I'm gonna try to guide you to kind of show you what, like how to decipher it. So um, right here you can see like, you can see some circles. You can see some like circles wherever you see a circle that's like a time stamp i put like i wrote down and then i circled it or whatever and so that's that's usually what i do first right so by the time it gets to an hour though right so i'll see like if i catch it at the 30 minute mark i'll be like okay in an hour it'll be this time so let's say the live starts at 5 30 p.m right i know that an hour in would be 6 30 p.m but if i'm at six o'clock right if it's six o'clock and I know there's 30 minutes left I'll be like 6 30 hour right so I gave the example 5 30 but this specific one um okay so an hour started on this particular live this was the live when we were talking about um Uranus um Uranus direct when Uranus went direct this is the class notes from that um class and so right here you see this list of like numbers or whatever okay so basically the way that well depending on what the live is like if it's a live that focuses on something in particular the way i take notes will usually be different but it's kind of sometimes the same um sometimes i look at the title of the class and then i will put the first timestamps to be directly related to what the title says and then after that i will add other kind of notes but if the title is something like um, like spiritual game or something like that, you know, I'll kind of just put my notes however, however, like all over like this. But if it's specifically like houses or if it's specifically signs, like if that's the main focus of the video, um, sometimes I'll just play it back and just do it one by one. Or I'll just write the number of each time I hear the, like if it's like Aries, right? Aries at... 13 minutes is when he was talking about Aries and then he might talk about something for like another 10 15 20 minutes or whatever then he mentions Aries again I'll circle that and put it right next to that section or whatever um okay so let me get to what I was talking about so as far as the hours right so you see right here how there's like a list of like you know okay so basically at one hour right so this is backwards so like I don't really know like I know it's not backwards for y'all but this looks back, backwards or whatever, but basically this says 5, 16 p.m. one hour. So the class um, started at 4, 16, and then at 5, 16 is when the hour started, right? So basically that's when I know it's the hour. So then I just go by tens from there. So I know one hour, like if I wanted to, basically the point of this is that when it goes to an hour, it just says one hour. Like it doesn't say one hour a minute, one hour two minutes, one hour three minutes, one hour ten minutes. It doesn't say that, it just says one hour. So you might not know how far into the hour you actually are to be able to take notes for that particular time unless you calculate it, which is what I do, right? So one hour, then I start to go by tens, right? So 5, 16 p.m. is when the hour started. And then I'll go from, so basically 16 plus 10, Yeah, 5, uh, 516 5, p.m. plus 10 is 526 p.m. So then I know that's an hour and 10 minutes, right? And so if something is going on between 526, like if something is, like I do it by tens, right? And then I estimate in between. So if something between 516 and 526 happens, I'll either write down the exact time it is or I'll just put that, I'll just write it like right here in between so I know that it's in this particular area, right? So then I just do, as I said, five, so I go by 10, 516, 526, 536, 546, 556, whatever. Then when it gets to two hours, then I'll continue and then I'll do 
two hour, ten minute, two hour, ten. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. Like, like that's the way I've been able to do it. Like, um, let's say I'm really wanting to make sure that I get the notes out really fast, or that I'm retaining the information, or like I'm really resonating with it, and I want to make sure that I'm writing certain things down and stuff. So I just created this kind of like, I, I guess it's like math in a sense, you know, because um, I know I just gave y'all an example of these notes, and this is like pencil. Okay, so let me explain this a little bit more as well. So basically that's that's the the list i just gave as far as the the hours and stuff like that and then this right here so basically when um when i'm listening to class i always draw as well like i'm always drawing something whether pencil pen red pen blue pen and um yeah i'll just like scribble like i'll just draw in the middle of class and then whenever something is happening i'll just um you know take notes about whatever's happening and stuff like that and sometimes okay so this particular class it was Uranus direct time, changing our stability and practicality, be original and be original and unique, express individuality, don't be scared to rebel and oppose, don't be scared to change. And um, he also did an explanation of like, just like a re-explanation of like houses. So like area of life equals house, um, have enough passion to get up off your ass. Uranus goes direct, things need to be changed. Take um take careful yeah my handwriting is like i understand it but like sometimes like i just like it'll take me a little minute um but yeah it's basically about uranus and uranus deals with change rebellion opposition opposing or whatever and that is in taurus or whatever so it had just went direct when this class um what's happening so it's basically like you getting and being more direct with what you're changing and rebelling and opposing against and you not being afraid to do that and this rebellion and opposition is what causes a sense of stability and fixed you know um like fixed practicality where it's like you are taking the necessary steps in order for something to come into completion basically um which then leads to the other earth sign um Virgo so after it's done after the like blueprint is um like Capricorn and then um Taurus is the building actually being built and then Virgo is analyzing the building that's being built or whatever so anyway okay so yeah so I'm gonna explain this like whole numbers thing I was just talking about again this is also some more notes from that same class. Okay, so I would draw something, right? And it will and it will be in a way my own way of like like me creating kind of my own language in the form of art and scribbles about like where my spirit is going when it comes to the class. So like I'll be paying attention to the class and I'll be writing specific notes. But then outside of that, it'll be things that inspire me, like things that I'm thinking about, things that I'm seeing, like things or whatever, but it won't be words. You know, it'll be just me drawing or whatever so i really like this one that i drew because it reminds me of just like um like it reminds me of building in a sense like not a physical building like a typical type of building that you would see but just the fact that things are building upon each other and there's different ways and there's different routes and different avenues to be able to get there and i also kind of see it as like you know a mind like us creating a mind us creating you know the our body like us creating a mind the first body that we created with. so it's like i love to draw i love to i love to draw any time of day but especially when i'm in class because i'm not thinking about what i want to draw or anything i'm just drawing it and i'm kind of seeing like where i'm at like spiritually or whatever and and yeah so these are all things that help me pay attention and these are all things that help me focus and um just continue to build and develop and you know heal myself and everything i need like the shadow work everything i need to do for myself and um like separating from bias and stuff like that also too because you know like they're um just like with any class sometimes you can be, be distracted by like the other students or you can be distracted by outside factors and weather and whatever's going on in your personal space and it's not different necessarily even though it's an online class because you can see all the other students and you can see everything else that's going on so um yeah, I just like to draw, I like to paint and stuff like that, especially like when I'm in class, but especially even when I'm not, especially for both. But, um, okay, yeah, so this is another thing I want to talk about real fast before my storage starts tripping. Okay, so it's basically the same thing I was just talking about as far as the numbers, but I just want to give an example, right? I'm going to try to write a little bit bigger. So, um, I don't know what time it is right now, but I'm going to guess. 
So let's say it's, um, I'm gonna just do 30s. Say it's 5.30, right? Let's say the class started at 5.30. So when it gets to 6.30, I'll put one hour right beside it. And then when it goes to 6.40, that's an hour and 10 minutes into the class. And then 6.50 is an hour and 20 minutes into the class. And then sometimes like I'll be a little slow, so I'll be needing to count. But 7 um, p.m. or a.m. whatever I'm doing is an hour and 30 minutes in. 7.10 is an hour and 40 minutes in. 7.20 is an hour and 50 minutes in. And 7.30 is two hours in or whatever. So, okay. This is basically like, okay, I say the class starts at 5.30, right? And then an hour into the class is 6.30, one hour. An hour and 10 minutes into the class is 6.40, an hour and 10 minutes, all right? So the point of this is like I said before, let's say something is happening between 6.30 and 6.40. I could either put the time, like I could put at 6.35 p.m. That's when this was said and I'll circle it. And then I'll put like a note like, um, rainbows or something i'll put rainbows or i will look at 